Hello you guys, welcome to another video. Today I am very excited because I'm going to be doing a thrifting haul from my last vlog that if you didn't see you should go check it out. I'm gonna show you what I bought on that little thrifting journey. Now, I always like to go shopping with a plan just because that's just how that's just how I roll. Like, that's how I like to do my wardrobe. That's how I like to shop really effectively. I go in, I know what I'm looking for, and I go out. And I have that same attitude with like with any kind of shopping, whether it's like luxury shopping or even thrifting. I don't care if stuff is more expensive or cheaper. I'm not here to shop just whatever I think is cute. I'm here with an end goal, baby, you know? So with that, I always like to have a little mood board. I don't really create mood boards for every single time I go shop. On my Pinterest, I just have like a long ass board of like just what I love to see with different like fashion styles, aesthetics. And then I kind of follow that to see what I'm in the vibe for. And that's exactly what I did. And I am so excited because I literally found exactly what I am looking for, like to the T. Like when I show you the pieces that I got, like, and the amount I saved to like, don't get me wrong. I'm always down to cut a check at Celine and Saint Laurent. But babe, when I find a blouse or a jacket that has the same vibe that I'm going for, for not even a quarter of the price, like literally pennies on the dollar, it's a win, it, like, it's, it's just, it's a win-win, it's wins all around. But again, I wanna be clear that I shop with purpose. I never just buy these things just because like, oh, I can afford it, okay, cool, like, let's just add it, like, you know, like, but I, no, like, it's, I, and, and you see it in my vlog, you see how I deny, I think I didn't, I think what I kept in the vlog was like, I denied a blouse. That was really cute. It really matched the vibe I was going for, but like it just, the blouse itself wasn't really like speaking to me, so I left it. Like, I just think that's always so important to really shop with purpose. And that's how you really like are able to fall in love with every single piece you have in your wardrobe and use every single piece. And then you get to mix around different styles and create different looks with the same pieces. Like it's, it's like, ugh, it's so much fun. So before we get into the actual haul, I just want to show you guys the vibe. So at this time, it was a couple of weeks ago now, but at the time, and I did vlog about it again, I was very much inspired by the older Eddie Slimane shows for Celine. With my personal wardrobe, I am kind of tired of wearing just t-shirt and jeans every day. Don't get me wrong, my t-shirts are super cute, like I really love them. But like, I just want to switch it up. And I feel like Eddie Slimane really knows how to make a very elegant look very casual, they could wear for the everyday. So that's kind of the vibe I was going for. And I personally was looking more at the shows from like the spring 2020, fall 2020. I love the looks there because that still to me was like a very like mature French woman. Cause now in my opinion, he's gone with like a more youthful feel, which I love. But I was just in the vibe of like, I just wanna like, I wanna, give more mature, I wanna give blouses, I wanna give boots, you know? So I'll put up some images here for like the mood board. This was the vibe. This is what we were going for. And I'll show you what I found. So I got these pieces from just like, mainly two different thrift stores in Miami. One, which is my favorite one called Thrift City, and then red, white, and blue. But anyways, let's start. First item, just to get out of the way, because it's just a basic, is a little striped. I need it. Okay, none of these, all these items have been washed, but none of them have been steamed, so they look a bit crusty. Um, but just like a nice, a cute little white t-shirt. I mean, striped t-shirt. If you know me, you know I love my stripes, and I just feel like this is such a cute little like summer basic. I own one other striped t-shirt that I got from like H and M that I've had for like well over six years now it's looking a bit crusty so i'm excited to like have another little navy and white striped tee obsessed next which you saw me try on in my last vlog is this um black button up with this little like mock neck feature that i'm always obsessed with that you can always tie up it looks super cute and i love how the sleeves in this one are like so like they have this i don't even know what this is called but again my style is very much like victorian boy era 
could be mistaken for like Pirates of the Caribbean vibe, but also still give like rock star 70s, especially with my haircut. It's such a vibe. Um, obsessed. I love the way, again, the sleeves fall. It's so dramatic. Love the mock neck feature. I did say in my blog that this piece is a bit more slim on the body. I tend to like a more boxy fit on my shirts, but this was too cute to pass up and it doesn't look too slimming in my opinion. Obsessed. Next item you also saw in my last vlog is this 100% silk white button up. Again, haven't steamed it, but super cute. It's just, it's just like a basic to have, you know? Pair with jeans, brown boots, white sneakers, literally anything, goes with everything. And I just love my white and navy stripes. Now this is where the party starts. I found this cheetah print or like, what is it, like snake skin? I don't know, it's like a mixture of like everything. Blouse, of course, with the mock neck detail. And like, it's like see-through, but like because of the print, you don't really obviously see much of the body. Although the body gives, don't get me wrong. But like, this is literally everything to me. I was so close to cutting a track at Saint Laurent. Well, this is from like an old collection. I think I saw this originally on like Bestiaire Collective or maybe even The Real Real. It was like a blouse that had like the same like mock neck feature. It had like a cheetah print, but it was, it was different prints mixed together. It was kind of like a patchwork blouse. But I'm obsessed that I was able to find like something very similar and like it still had the same kind of vibe. I'm obsessed with this freaking blouse. It's such a great option for like any late like, dinner nights, little cocktail hour, such a vibe. Would I even wear this during the day with like blue jeans? Maybe. I wouldn't put it past myself, but love, love, love. Next, we found this black blouse that has this little neck thing like this is a front and then the back has like this little button closure which like i'm really scared of because like once i'm in this and it's like a litty night i might be too drunk to take this off myself but like whatever it's again this beautiful blouse that just has like like this little neck detail it is literally so elegant it's such like a cute little feature the rest is just like simple Again, exactly what I'm looking for. Like, it's such like a basic silhouette, but it's these little details that really make it fashion forward for me. To me, it really, it really gives like YSL. Celine, can't wait to wear this out. Obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. This next piece I'm so excited about because it is a blouse, but it's something I could wear on the day to day. I feel like these blouses that I just showed were more like nighttime, but this one, this one for sure gives like Victorian boy era, but like, it's such a vibe. Like the little, the sleeves, this detail, the back, it is so Saint Laurent, like babe, I'm so, like this is so Saint Laurent. And like, so Celine, like this with like blue jeans, brown boots, or even black boots. This with trousers. There's so many ways to wear this. You can dress it up or casual on the everyday. Obsessed. This has like a similar detail to a blouse I saw in YSL and I also saw Rose wear. I'll put a picture up if I can find it. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Like, and even like the neck. Like, oh my God. Oops, like, I can't. The amount of times I've probably said love or obsessed in this video is insane next i got this little is this crocheted like this little knitted vest it has buttons so you can like close it i thought this would be a beautiful piece to layer on top like a white button up or even maybe this blouse opened with like jeans again like it's so, like so beautiful i'm so glad like this texture caught my eye when i was just walking through the racks could get very western with like brown boots obsessed 
Next, I got this beautiful blouse, again, with the mock neck detail. Obsessed. Um, I really love the print of this one. It has all the tags. Yeah, just like beautiful sleeves. It has this like kind of hem for the body, which I think is great just because it kind of like, like sticks to your body more, so it's easier to tuck into jeans. Again, obsessed with the print. Very elegant, very cute. This is cute for like the everyday, I feel like, because of the print. So next, I have this like suede brown button-up shirt. I do intend on using this some more of like a layering piece to add just like some, some different like texture to it. I love that it's like suede. I could, I could even wear it as like the shirt alone, tucked into like some brown jeans. Again, very, I mean not brown jeans, blue jeans. Again, very much giving Western vibes. But like I said, I do intend to like layer it more. Love, 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 love. Now, if you saw my vlog, this is the jacket that caused me to get skipped in line. But then I checked them and was like, no, get out of the line, please. I saw this while I was waiting in line. Ignore the green hanger. But I saw this piece in line when I was like making the line. And there was like a rack of like maybe go backs of people like just stuff people would put away. And I literally saw it from this angle. I saw the cuffs alone and was like, ooh, what is this? We know I love the color navy, especially with any like white detailing. So I picked it up and then I tried it on in the line, trying to make sure like the shoulders were good. And I love, I did do a, a nice little like shoot and little runway video with this piece, which you can check out on my Instagram at Emil's Empire. And it's such like a classic, lovely piece. It has, it's a one button little blazer. You know, I love my jackets, can't get enough. And yeah, it's so, it's so beautiful, love. Now for my last item, but definitely not the least. Does that make sense? Last but not least, yeah. Is this fully sequined hoodie. Which like, I'm sorry. I am obsessed with sequins. I know sequins and crystals and embellishments were really the trends for like, maybe like what, like winter 2021, summer 2022. I have a couple of embellished jackets, but I feel like when it comes to sequined hoodies and t-shirts, a lot of brands make them look really cheap. Again, not to like kiss Celine's ass again, but like, or even Saint Laurent, but I feel like those two brands really know how to make sequins look really expensive. Like it doesn't look like too jumbled up or just like cheap. I'll put up images of what I'm trying to say. Like they know how to make sequins look like still very like, like smooth and like tailored. And obviously this isn't Saint Laurent or Celine, but I feel like it has that same effect where like the way they're embroidered on the hoodie, it's, it, it's very clean, you know? It's not like jumbled up or not like any of like the loose sequins. It's just, it's very clean. The hood is like fully sequined as well. Obsessed is like, this really gave me like Celine, like Cosmic Cruiser, Boy Doll kind of vibe, which I loved from the Celine men's. So I'm so excited to have this piece with me. Like, oh my God. Just like everything in this, like, like these, like, like this is like the feeling you get when like you put good energy out you go, you shop with purpose, you know what you're looking for. And like, I just know like, I literally do not regret not one piece. I know how I'm gonna style each and every one. I'm not stressed about whether it's gonna like be in or out of style. Like these are pieces that like just to me live on forever, will live on forever. I have so many ways to style them. I mean, mostly it's gonna be like blue jeans and trousers, but like, that's just my style. And yeah, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like this, <laughs> with this piece, this could easily, depending on how you style it, could easily give like 2008, like step up, dance dance revolution kind of shit they would wear. But like, 
it's just like the vibe you need to give it like you need to see the vision in order to really see, like see the high fashion in it you know thank you guys so much for watching this video and follow my instagram and tiktok both at Emma's empire so you can see how i style these looks and if you live in the Miami area let me know what your fave thrift destinations are because gatekeeping is not cute like there's enough there's enough pieces out in the world there's enough opportunities to find what you love and clearly i was able to do that so yes again thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one bye you guys